William Wright, please raise your hand for questions and I'll call on you. Austin, we'll start with you and then we'll go to David. First, obviously, yeah, the, the, two, the two runs, but the throw, uh, when, when, they, when they called that in, you know, it, it take me kind of through the mindset. Just, I mean, I, was there, I'm sure there's a lot of excitement there. And then were you, were you able to watch, you know, Jalen from the Jumbotron? Were you watching field level? What, what were you looking at? Well, I was definitely excited about it. Um, some we've been practicing, some that we've been uh, talking about, definitely talking about uh, this week. And um, I was able to watch Jalen catch it <clears throat> after the hit. Uh, I was so happy that he called it. You know, I'm proud. <laughs> Chris, were there nerves as soon as? Did you get nervous when that play call came in? And how many times in practice have you thrown it that far? No, I wasn't. I wasn't nervous. Um, I joke around and throw the ball all the time in practice, throw it far and different stuff like that. And Coach, uh, Coach Hosley always be like, "Man, if you got an arm." And uh, you know, it's just we just having fun with it. And uh, Coach, whenever my number was called for it, I was, I was ready for it. Uh, we'll go to Patrick and then Ben. Uh, William, I guess uh, playing today was probably not as big deal as you think for the last four plays against Alabama. Can you go back to last week and just getting thrown in there? And did that lead to some confidence for you to go make the play to today? <clears throat> yeah, so it definitely did because um, well, I had confidence going into last week too, just the way we prepare. Because I, I, I got to treat every rep in the game and practice like it's like a game rep. So I take advantage of those opportunities. So when I get thrown in the game, I'm more confident. And that's definitely, I mean, those plays definitely. Yeah. Then you have more confidence this game too. Ben, what did you see on that play um, that that allowed you to pick it off, and then so on? What would you think of William making that play, and how you been able to fit in these last two games back there? Yeah, so uh, I guess I got kind of a lucky call on the defense for from Coach Banks on that one because it's more of a vision coverage. So I was got my eyes on the quarterback, saw the route, saw the throw, and just was able to jump it. <laughs> and I guess it just. I was on the sideline when I saw him catch it. I mean, I was just happy for him, you know. Uh, but even before the play, we're over there coaching him up, telling him, like, hey, Willie, coming to you, they're coming to you, coming to you. And lo and behold, they ended up throwing his way, and he ended up making the play, finishing, and uh, the rest is history. We'll go to Eric, and then we'll go to Adam, and then we'll go back to David. Well, in spring, you, you were getting a ton of reps because there were a lot of guys around. How big was that uh, time for you to kind of – grow as a player and prepare yourself for, for this uh, this time last week. Right. So that goes back to me taking advantage of the opportunities I get because, I mean, I didn't know if I was going to get that many reps during spring. So that was just a good time for me to prepare and go against the ones a lot and then build a lot of confidence in myself and build a lot of confidence with the coach staff with me to be able to show what I can do. Adam? Princeton, was there any thought that, you know, you got some SEC games coming that maybe that – type of play that trick play would be held off for a future game. Were you surprised that it's called in this game? Well, I wasn't surprised, man. Me and Coach have been talking about this this play for a while now. Um, <clears throat> you know, just preparation. Uh, whenever it's called, it's called, and you have to be ready for it. And like I said earlier, just when the number was called for the play, I was ready. Was there any fear that it would never be called? Did you get a few games left? Uh, I don't think it was no fear. You know, whatever it is, you know, just want to help my team win. That's the main thing. And we'll go back to David, and we'll go to Reese, and then back to Patrick. So when y'all came in 10th in the country against the run, I think y'all were averaging, allowing 93 a game. They, got, they only had 76. Why have y'all been so effective in run defense this year, do you think? Well, that's always a point of emphasis for us on the defense is in order to play good defense, you got to play good run defense first. Because <clears throat> the teams can just, you know, run the ball down your throat. It's kind of hard for you to win. So that was just always a point of emphasis. You know, we go over like the – top run plays, you know, stuff that stuff to look for and you know, just different keys throughout the week. So that's probably the bit, been the biggest thing for us, you know, just going into each game. Reese. So when I saw after your first sack, you honored your fraternity. Uh, why do you honor your fraternity and what do they mean to you? Oh uh, man, they, they mean the world to me. Like they're my brothers. Aside from the guys who I go to war with every Saturday. They're my brothers, you know, I talk to them every chance that I get. So every time I make a big play, you know, I'm not just doing it for for myself, I'm not just doing it for these guys, and I, I'm doing it for the people, you know, in the stands, the the fans as well. So just, you know, giving them a little shout out on the side. Patrick, and then back to Austin. Well, you want after your interception looked like a lot of the sidelines filled on the field to celebrate. You kind of mommed you a little bit. What was what was that moment like with everybody coming out there and celebrating that moment? Uh, it was crazy. It was a special moment for me just because, I mean, I feel like that was effective. All the work and preparation I put into the game. So it was a special moment. Austin. Preston, you now thrown, run, caught one. What's your left for you to accomplish individually? I mean, is, there, is there something you've not done to this point in your career you'd like to get done in the next five? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think the main thing is 
is just helping the, the team win, honestly. Whatever I can do to help the team win, whether it's throwing the ball, running the ball, catching the ball, you know, whatever it is, being on punt, <clears throat> going down there and hitting somebody in the face, uh, whatever it is, I just want to just want to help them win. It's the main thing. Yeah, we'll do two more. We'll do Jimmy and then we'll finish with Ben. President, how, how far can you throw a football? <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't know. Uh, I'll be in practice joking around, throwing it from the 50, hitting the goal post. Uh, then I try to scoop back, hit the goal post. But uh, I honestly don't know. I never just tried to see how long I could actually throw it. And then when you run that play in practice, how often do you complete it? I complete it every time. Every time? <laughs> every time. How many times do you run it? We ran it. Uh, we ran it a couple of times. I will say that. Uh, <laughs> uh, it wasn't just. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It's definitely fun, man. Just going back there, throwing the ball. Chris, I got. I got two for you. Who throws the best deep ball? Are you handed in Joe? And <laughs> I'm assuming the the, the 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 touchdown pass beats the rushing touchdowns, but the rushing touchdowns you kind of had to bounce outside and make your way into the end zone. Did, did you prefer the rushing touchdown over the passing touchdown? No, uh, I say, man, I'm just happy that we got in the end zone and the pass was completed. Oh, uh, between me, Joe, and Hendon, I would say myself. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> I say Joe, man. Joe's a special player, man. And uh, he has an arm. He has a crazy arm. It's, I know a lot of people know. But uh, out of all those quarterbacks, man, those quarterbacks are great, great leaders, great brothers, and people that this team really looks up to. Thanks, guys. Well, pending for you guys here in a few minutes. Appreciate you.